You are traveling from the country you are, you are arriving in America. I know at the embassy there are certain documents they give you which you are not supposed to open in before. There are documents you will be having them like a purpose, purpose with a visa and all kinds of things. So when you arrive on the first airport, port of entry we call here in America, for you it was in, was it in Texas, right? Texas, yes. yes. Dallas or Houston? Dallas, Texas. Yeah, so when you arrive in, in Dallas, uh, what was the first thing you you did as a green card holder? Because usually you have to go to the uh, uh, the customs and the, the customs uh, uh, customs and border protection officers at the kiosk. What process did, did it happen first of all on that particular end? Yes. Uh, so after interview, uh, the embassy will give you the documents. They give you an envelope which you don't have to open. Yes. When you land in the United States of America. There will be some announcement. They will uh, uh, say uh, those who are immigrating. You know, uh, there is a lot of immigrants. There, there is refugees. Yes. There are people who are coming to work in America. There is a lot of reasons. There are people who are coming in seminars. So they will show you the direction you have to go because everybody have to go for. Uh, on the Department of Homeland Security, and they have to check everything. And when we reach there, you have to line up because there is a lot of people who are coming in and uh, with different reasons, immigrants with different reasons. Yes. So you submit your envelope, which you should not open. It should be sealed. Don't open. Don't play Do smart. Open it. Simple yes. like that. Don't open, don't open. <laughs> Once you open, they know it has been open. And you'll be... The, yes. They'll pick, give you a U-turn and go back to your country. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't touch that envelope. You just keep it safe. You don't open it. And then you submit to uh, people of Homeland Security. They will be... Uh, they will just say, you just wait for there. And then uh, after waiting for some times... They will tell you to go and collect your baggages, and they, they will let you in. Welcome home. And uh, <laughs> yes, so they say welcome home. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So uh, for me, my my uh, the port of entry was uh, Dallas, Texas, but I was not supposed to live in Texas. I had to connect with another flight which was uh, coming to MCI, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. So we stayed there for transferring. Uh, it was uh, American Airlines. We stayed there for like uh, eight minutes. And then we took local flight to Kansas City, where, you know, we met you here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So... Uh on the host part, did they question at the embassy about the host? Uh, no, they didn't ask about the host. But they will ask you, uh, no, 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 that question was at the embassy. Yes. At the embassy, they will ask you uh, a place where you are going yeah, because going. they want to know if you know a certain place. So if you write, uh, for instance, you are going to Georgia, at least they will ask you how, do you, how do you know Georgia? Why are you moving there? You know, what attracted you there? You know, it's like a normal conversation. Yes. So you have to tell them. And then they will ask you about the host. Like, uh, okay, tell me about your host. Uh, how will the things go? Things like that, like a normal conversation. So mm -hmm. those, those were the kind of questions. But whenever you land in America, they don't force you to go a place where you feel that you will be hosted or you will uh, be living. Yes. Because it is your choice. It is your choice. It will depend on how you will manage life. Exactly. So you can write that you are going to New York and then you don't have to because they give you a room. It is flexible to change anytime you want. Yes. So that's how I ended up being in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that has been very good experience, eating a lot of barbecue yeah. together. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, for sure.